Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens here with iGo Sales and Marketing again for another tutorial on Sweet CRM. So today we're going to be upgrading uh, Sweet CRM 8 from 8.3 to 8.5. And I'm going to walk through all the steps uh, since, I mean, if you're familiar with Sweet CRM, in the past you use the wizard to do upgrades. Uh, it's a little more complicated with Sweet CRM 8 and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it today using the command line. Okay, so one other thing to note is that uh, I kind of messed up the video. Um, so I recorded the whole upgrade and I didn't realize I had two audio sources going and there was a big echo, so I can't use the audio. I had to uh, do an audio overlay over top of it and that's not normally how I do it. Um, but anyway, I think you'll find it useful anyway and I apologize. Um, the other thing is uh, I'm, I'm trying to make more videos and uh, I'd really like uh, if you guys would like and subscribe down below that would really help me out uh, produce more videos if you like the content I got a whole library for them on my channel um, so if you're seeing this for the first time please check out my channel and like and subscribe and you get more videos uh, so without further ado let's get into it the first thing we're going to want to do is check the compatibility matrix and the reason why we're doing this is just to make sure that our PHP versions match what we're trying to do. So in my case, I'm going to look at the version that I have installed and we can see it's 8.3 and I'm going to go back to the compatibility matrix and we'll see that 8.3 requires PHP 7.4 or 8.0 which is a problem because if we look at the latest version it requires 8.1 or 8.2 so we're kind of bridging to PHP versions here in order to make this happen what I normally do in this case is I'll start with the lowest version do the upgrade and then after the upgrade I will go and do uh, upgrade the PHP to the next version. So that's what I'm going to try here. Let's hope it all works out okay. The next thing I'd recommend is go over to your Sweet CRM upgrades and just read the instructions. So there are different upgrade procedures depending on what you're upgrading from and to. So the one I'm going to use today is the Sweet CRM 8.2 plus uh, upgrade version but if you're upgrading prior to that like 8.0 or 8.1 and you're upgrading to a more current version there are different procedures so today I'm only covering uh, if you are on the 8.2 plus version and today I'm upgrading to 8.5 version so we'll show you how that works okay so the next step is to create folders on your server uh, and I'm assuming you know how to use cPanel. I have it already opened here. Um, and you know how to get into cPanel and go into your cPanel file manager and all that kind of stuff. But what we're looking to do here is get to the root of our Sweet CRM folder. Um, in my case, it's public HTML and then the name of the, the subdirectory folder. Um, I'm in test CRM. And I'm going to want to create, as, as the documentation says, a folder below that TMP slash package slash upgrade okay so I already have that created because I've done upgrades in the past so I will already have that folder there okay so we're gonna go to temp package upgrade and you can see I already have packages there from when I um, installed this stuff before so all I'm going to do next is go to Sweet CRM, uh, download the file, and then place it in this directory. So if we go to the Sweet CRM website, um, we'll want to make sure we download the correct file. So we do not want to download the full install file. I've done that in the past, and it causes a lot of problems <laughs> when you try to upgrade with a full install pot, uh, file. So make sure you go down here where it says uh, to download the upgrades and other other files. So what we're looking for in our case is you'll see they 
tell you from which version you're on to which version you want to upgrade to and there's a number of them here but in our case we just want the most recent version that's an upgrade um, and we are going to want to pick the 8.5 version this time because we're we're just upgrading 8.5 okay and normally it tells you there 8.5 from something else but in this case it doesn't so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna download this file and um, I'll sort of time-lapse the rest as I install it and upload it Okay, now that I'm done downloading the file, I can see it's in the folder here. Um, just check it's there. I, you do not have to unzip it, uh, just leave it where it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is go uh, to the instructions and they tell me that I need to do some commands in terminal to run the upgrade. So hopefully you know how in cPanel or WHM to get to terminal. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. I've already got it set up here, so I'm going to go to Terminal. And then I'm just going to navigate to the folder. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through some of this because it just goes through a bunch of folders on my directory, but you're going to want to find your SweetCRM folder. Now that I'm in my SweetCRM uh, folder under public HTML and then whatever folder it's in, I'm going to want to type in uh, the command from the instructions uh, and you'll see here I make a mistake <laughs> and uh, don't spell sweet CRM properly uh, and it's not gonna work so the reason why I'm just showing you this instead of cutting it out is because like I missed one letter in spelling sweet CRM and it, it doesn't work the first time so you want to make sure that when you're doing it that you completely check the spelling of everything that you're doing so here's the command that we want to run. It's uh, bin console, um, and at the at the very end here, we want to make sure that we enter in the correct uh, version of the SweetCRM version that we're going to upgrade to. So in my case, it's 8.5.0. Okay, and you'll see I made a mistake, um, but I'm going to just fix this here, uh, and I'll copy and paste the correct uh, value in. Okay, so here I go. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it in again because I made a spelling mistake and uh, just change or correct the spelling mistake that I made and hit enter again at the end and this should work. And it does. Okay, so everything's running successfully at this point. As soon as it finishes running, we're going to go back and check our instructions and see what the next step is. Now that that's run successfully, we're going to go back and check our instructions. And there's one more step after this one, which is to run uh, the post upgrade command. Okay, so it's listed there, and I'm going to copy and paste it and run this one right now. And quick tip, you can just click on the paste icon on the right <laughs> as opposed to trying to copy and paste it. Okay, so paste it in and then the only edit that I have to make is change uh, the version number at, at the end to SweetCRM 8.5.0 uh, just like I did in the first command. And hopefully this time uh, not make a spelling mistake. <laughs> okay, so here's the post command. It's entered. Uh, and then I'm just going to hit enter and let it run and this looks like it's all running correctly uh, everything's going okay this should just take a second um, there are some switches here for merge mode keep mode uh, since I didn't do any of those I assume it defaults to whatever the correct mode is <laughs> uh, and it seems to be running successfully here okay so um, it's all done at this point and we are going to just do a couple other things next. 
the next step here is to reset permissions uh, and I have these already written down I'll probably put them down below uh, if you want to cut and paste them yourself um, but the first one is going to uh, reset a bunch of folders uh, the second is going to reset a bunch of folders and the third one's going to um, change the ownership so I'm just going to go ahead and do that here on the screen uh, the one thing to be careful of is make sure that you are in the right folder because these sort of like change from the top down okay so you want to make sure and just check and I've done it there check that I'm in the right folder before you start running these commands because you can really mess up your server okay so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut and paste these in here and get it done uh, I'll probably uh, paste it in let it go and the rest um, I'm just gonna speed up okay with this last command here you want to be careful um, you're gonna have to look up and see who the file ownership is um, and in this case it says www.data um, that may be true in some of your cases uh, in my case it's Pablo Steven 71 so I have to change this command uh, correctly uh, to match that okay so I'm just gonna change it here uh, and then also at the end there's there's www.data colon www dash data you got to change that again to your user colon your user okay um, and then that will change the file permissions of everything in not sorry permissions but the ownership of everything in this folder and everything below it okay so this normally takes a second I'm gonna move on to the next step okay so the next step here is to check my uh, PHP version and I'm going to want to make sure that I'm in PHP 8.1 as per the instructions. So in cPanel, I'm going to go to my PHP manager. I'm going to search for my directory and I'm just going to switch it to the latest PHP version 8.1 that this version supports. Uh, I'm going to click on apply and uh, then go back to my installation. And hopefully everything is working out properly here one other quick tip here go to your uh, multi PHP any editor and just check the settings of the new PHP version okay I already have it set up correctly um, but if it's a new version that you're using and maybe all of the values are not set up properly for sweet CRM um, I've done installations in the past where uh, it hasn't been set correctly the memory limit has been a default of 32 and then it doesn't work and I'm scratching my head spending all kinds of time trying to figure out what the problem is and uh, I forgot to check the settings for this PHP version so in this case they're all correct but one that's one quick tip just to make sure that that all works for you so um, if it all worked out uh, if I go to my sweet serum here and I go and uh, go home it's probably gonna get me to log in again and if I log in hopefully things don't crash and they don't I know how this story ends <laughs> um, everything worked out okay so I'm gonna go to about here and just double check the version and I'm on 8.5 so everything looked really good here everything went fairly smoothly um, there doesn't appear to be any errors or problems going on the last thing I like to do is go to uh, repair and rebuild every time I do a uh, upgrade and I'll just do a quick repair and rebuild okay and that just makes sure everything's all synced um, sometimes it crashes everything out but you need to know if your if, if your upgrade didn't go well so uh, everything looked good I get that error message from time to time with sweet serum 8 um, it doesn't seem to affect anything uh, but anyway it looks like things are going well here and and generally I do a few quick checks just to make sure can I see things in list view uh, and here's all my demo data in here and uh, I'm gonna open a record uh, just make sure yep everything looks good there uh, and then just double check that I can edit a record so I can save good so 
at this point, uh, I think we are complete. And that is how you upgrade Sweet Serum from one version to another. Okay, so that's it for the upgrade process. Uh, sorry I had to uh, redo the audio over top, um, but I think there's some good stuff in there and it shows you the steps to take and some things to think about when you're doing the upgrade. If you like the video, again, please do me a huge favor, like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, again, I have a, a number of videos on my uh, channel down below and I do this for, the, for a living. So if you want some help with uh, Sweet CRM, some training, customizations, um, you know, just someone to talk through your process and make sure your process works with a, with a modern CRM, uh, that's what I do for a living. You can reach out to me on my website. My contact information is below. Thank you so much.